Hi, I'm Dr. Nick, and I'm going to show you our new game called Multifacty, which we think has got great potential to help people to understand and to become fluent in their multiplication facts. So first of all, I'll introduce the cards. So these are the multiple cards, and there are 31 of them because there are 31 number facts or multiplication facts that people need to learn. So let's take a look at 18 here. You can see that 18 has two rows of nine, it has three rows of six, it has six rows of three, and nine rows of two. So those are the different ways that you can get 18. Or you see that 15 here just has three rows of five, five rows of three, and some of them don't have as many. Um, for example, I'm trying to find 25, because that's a, oh, there's four. Four, we can have one row of four or two rows of two. And we've chosen not to do the one times table because it's a bit um, trivial. And you can see it goes right up to 64, which is eight times eight. And you can see there it's only got the one um, array there. And then nine times eight, nine times nine. Right. Now with just these multiple cards, there are quite a few interesting activities that you can do as a teacher. So getting them to sort them and look at the different shapes, it shows the commutative property. So you've got uh, five rows of seven is the same as seven rows of five and so on. You can look on our website for some ideas about activities to use those. So those are the multiple cards. And then in this pile, oh, the multiple cards have the orange backs. The factor cards, kind of three different types of factor cards. So you can see here the different factors, 4, 3, 2, and one to 1, of course. And you can see that the, um, they've got different symbols on them. And we've put symbols on them as well as colours, so that people who have poor colour discrimination are not um, going to run into trouble with this. As well as these, the factor cards, there are wild cards. So this wild card can be four, two, four, six, or eight. This can be three, five, seven, or nine. This can be two, three, four, or five. And this can be six, seven, eight, or nine. And they play just like the other factor cards, but you turn them to show which one they're being. So those are all of the factor cards and wild cards. And these are the action cards, but I'm going to show you how to play the game without the action cards to start with, because that's the best way to begin. So you deal out seven of these each. Now the first time you play, you're best to play with the cards showing because then it's easier to see what's going on and it's good for, for teaching. So I'm just going to lay the cards out in order so I can see what's going on. And we also shuffle the multiple cards. So we have five multiple cards showing. Now the first player looks at their hand and they look at what's here and they can see if they've got a nine, they can complete that multiple straight off. And they do because yeah, this is a, a wild card that can be nine. So they put down the nine, which completes that particular multiple. So they, they take this multiple, which is going to be used for scoring later. This goes into the discard pile. We turn over another multiple. Ooh. And then this player has the choice to either discard one of their cards, because getting rid of cards is good, or making the other players all pick up one card. So in this case, I'm going to throw out an 8, because I can see I'm, I'm not going to be able to place an 8 very easily, so I'm going to throw that one out. So that's my turn finished. Now it's my oh, turn it back up. My opponent's turn says, oh, have I got a 4 anywhere? Yes, I do. I don't want to use up my wild card if I don't have to, so I'm going to play my 4. And I've scored that multiple, yay! And that gets discarded. We get a new multiple. And I'm going to, this player is going to throw out a three. 
So now it's this player's turn, player A. Now I'm going to look here, what can I place? I'm going to place a five under here. Now it's this player's turn. Uh, I'm going to place a seven under here. This player. Ooh. Now I can place a seven here as well, which means that I've completed that 14. So I score with that 14, that's mine as well. Those get thrown out. We get a new multiple. And, and I'm going to throw out a two. I'm going to throw out a two because they're hard to play with. Right, now this player's turn is going to play a nine on here. This player's playing a six on here. Now this player might want to put a six on here because it looks as if you can collect sixes and nines but once we've committed to six to nines here that have to carry on so they can't place a six there they could put a five down here so there we go this player can only place a two but they can't so they have to pick up a card instead this player uh, can play a six this one picks up this one picks up. Uh, at least he's going to be able to play, or she. Two, three, no, going to have to pick up. Six. This one can play at seven. Still stuck with the twos. And we'll just, we'll speed things up now so you can see where we get to. Now this player picked up a six, and so I can play this six here. We've got one, two, three, four, five sixes make 30. So you'll see that they only ever collect one factor underneath each multiple. So we've got the six fives of 30, and so if somebody actually wants to count all of the symbols, it will come up to 30. So I won that one. That goes into the discard pile. This goes to me for scoring. We get a new multiple. Ooh. And I'm going to throw out a three. Now it's this person's turn, and they're excited because they can put down their two. This person is annoyed because they would have liked to have put down their eight, but couldn't. So they put down a two. This person puts down a two, and they have nothing left. Their hand is finished. So they they win that particular round, and they score for that by picking up any one of these they want. So they'll just take that one. So that's their score, their point for winning or for, for emptying their hand. So that's just the first round. And so now we gather up all of the cards ready for the second round. Notice that we don't shuffle these back in. These are just finished with for now, but we do shuffle all of the factor cards in together. And this time I've added in the action cards so that we can see how that works in the game. This player is going to go first because um, the other player finished the last game. So whoever whoever's off on the left of the previous winner. So this player has a pass left card, a shift factors card, and a replace multiple card. But first of all, we're going to see if there are any of these that I can finish off. Have I got a six? Nope. I have got an eight, and I could hope that the other person doesn't have an eight. It's a bit risky, so I'm going to put down a nine here. This player... Doesn't have a six either. It does have a five though, so I think I'll place a five. This player goes mm, 
Okay, so they didn't have an eight, probably. So you place an eight there. Five. So we finished that one. So those get discarded. This one comes for scoring. We get a new one. And this time I'm going to make the other player pick up one. So they get another one added to their factors. Now this player is going to have a look at what they've got. I'll put down a four. And this one is going to put down a nine. And seven. Oh, he's only got action cards left now, so I think I'm going to play all draw, so everybody has to pick up one. So I get one, and the other player gets one. I'm going to play shift factors, so I could, I'm going to move these nines. I could either move them to another place, but there's nowhere else to put them, but I'm actually going to throw them out, because I want to be able to play some threes, so it's going to leave a space three there for some threes. So this player goes, hmm, I wonder if that other person wants to play some threes and puts a nine down and really annoys me. Well, I'm going to replace a multiple here. So I'm going to replace that one. That one just gets thrown out. They get thrown out. Put a new multiple up. Now it's this person's turn. I can still play a three, so that's good. And this one, I'll pick up another number card. This one. And a nine. So anyway, you probably get the idea of most of the game. Um, if you look on the website for the different um, things, and also if you look in the little booklet, it goes through what to do. So each turn you play a factor card, or play an action card, or draw a card. And then at the back, it talks about how you win. Um, you win the game when all of the, the multiple cards are used up, and you count how many multi multiple cards you've got. And that's... Who wins or you just play one hand at a time and whoever gets rid of their cards first wins is another way to play it so um have lots of fun and learn lots about multiples